Hey everybody, let's get into it. How's everybody doing tonight? How's everybody, how's everybody doing? Everybody playing video games out there? You making me proud playing those video games? Sleepy dogs? Yeah, let's die together in Ultra Nightmare. Hey, let's, let's die like we used to in Ultra Nightmare. It's like the 80s threw up and then exploded. I, I am enjoying Rad. Um, I'm... Some some roguelikes I'll actually like play until I just beat because I like them so much. Some other ones I just kind of stall out on. I don't know which one Rad's gonna be, but I'm enjoying it so far. You stress baked three dozen cookies. Are you less stressful now? Did it work? I'm gonna be. I I think I've learned my lesson, which is that I can't. I'm never gonna beat beat this in Ultra Nightmare, like taking risks. It seems like an obvious thing, but it's tempting to think you can you can just get to a skill cutoff where you can just go balls out, but I don't know that that exists. I think I think especially in the early couple of levels, there's a lot of like whoopsies, a lot of whoopsie deaths, and you just gotta prevent that from happening to get through it. Once you get a couple of health upgrades, it seems more like uh, Seems more like something that you can actually, like, skills or randomness is less of a factor. That reminds me. Hold on a minute. Forgot to turn my fucking wallpaper off. I just felt it stutter. Ain't having that. Uh, it's a bummer, man. Um, I don't know if that's something that I should, like... I did some very light Googling. Some cursory Googling. And did, uh... I didn't, didn't find any information about how to, uh... Prevent that from happening. A lot of, like, people saying, like... Oh, it started happening when I upgraded to these drivers, and then they're like, oh, it stopped happening. I'm like, well, okay. That doesn't help me. I mean, with all the, uh, I think NVIDIA's marketing is working, though, I'm... I'm getting the itch to get, get on the RTX train. There's a couple of games coming out that I actually kind of am interested in. Ow! Like, Control is gonna be one that I definitely am gonna... Fuck me! I'm gonna want to play in max def with all all graphics. I want to turn all graphics on. So maybe it's time. I'm gonna have to take a hard look at the old bank account though. Let's see what I can squeeze out. Ugh. You haven't lived until a fucking imp fireballs whizzed past your ear. I think, so people have asked what my favorite glory kill is. I see people, I think one person did. I think that one where he just like pushes them and hooks them so hard it like breaks their neck instantly. That one's, it's like, it's short, it's sweet, it's simple, and it really conveys just how fucking angry and strong <laughs> Doom Slayer is. Oh, you come to LA, that's right, Katie. Excited and nervous, heckin' nervous. Well, congratulations. We can go see some trash movies at the Alamo. Watch Sean McTee yesterday. Not as good as one, but the second half is amazing. What do you think? Oh, I thought it was better than... I thought it was better than one. That's just me, though. I didn't get the grenade. Oops. Sometimes I forget. Luckily, there's one right here. Just gotta deploy my kung fu. Tap this thing. Tried Ion Fury yet? Yeah, actually, I really, really like it so far. I've only played like the first level and a half, um, but it seems really well made. It seems like one of those games where the reason you keep playing it is to find like all the weird little quirky things that they put in the levels, all the dumb little things you can interact with, all the weird secrets that you get by like throwing bombs in random places and blowing up walls. I'm excited about that. Conflicted about how I feel making my protagonist pee, it reminds me of Duke Nukem Forever. I mean, it is definitely that kind of game. I feel like Duke Nukem Forever is a game out of its own time. I've I've wondered if like Duke Nukem Forever actually came out in like 98. I feel like people would still talk about it fondly, but it didn't, so. You forgot the pickles? What's up?
I didn't know I didn't grenade myself. I think an imp kicked an explosive barrel close to me. And I didn't see it. That was weird. That's never happened before. Okay. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I did see the Death Stranding Gamescom stuff. That's, uh... That's something. I feel like I'm too stupid for Death Stranding. Hmm. It may just be that Death Stranding is too smart for everybody. I don't know. I'm getting real Metal Gear Solid 4 vibes out of, off of Death Stranding. Which makes me really excited to play it, but also makes me think people are not gonna know what to make of it. But everybody's gonna be so blinded by, like, Kojima and the game's budget that they're gonna say it's good, even though they don't know what it is. I think there's gonna be a lot of that. A lot of people will be like, Oh my god, this game's so good! And meanwhile, everyone else is like... Giving it the old eyebrow. That's my prediction. Ah, shit! Shit! Fuck! Don't you shoot that! Alright. What? That was weird. I did not mean to mantle there. My boy just kind of did it. Where's everybody? Yeah. And he was whipping that thing at me. Unacceptable. Get down here. Look at you running away. Little demon butt. Working your little demon glutes. Trying to get away from all this all this terror and fury. No, sir. There we go. Okay. Whew. What's up, your villain? Hello. Save point podcast. It's coming from PC or PS5 or just staying on PS4. Um, I mean, Sony re-releases stuff. And I think that's going to be a game they'll re-release. So I'm pretty confident that's something that will get the remaster treatment on PS5. Give it ray tracing and fast loading or whatever. PC, I don't know. There was that, that thing from Sean Layden about, like... Um, about how... So many published games might be appearing on other platforms. I could see PC being one of them, or maybe like Stadia or something like that. I could see, I could see Sony taking like Google money to spread the game around. I mean, it's like those games, I guess, make money. I guess, but they're so expensive, and and Sony's lucky that they have the PS4 install base. Otherwise, like, I don't think a game like Spider-Man would have been the success it is. I mean, I'm I'm spitting like very obvious truths here. But I mean in the sense that, like, probably wouldn't have, uh, earned money. Probably wouldn't have been profitable. Hmm. Okay. Not gonna die this time. <laughs> probably. Really needs to check that doll over? It's cute! People shocked by the peeing thing? Were they really? Kojima does that shit all the time. The fact that they opened with that, I was like, yep. It's still there. Okay. And of course, it tells you exactly how many milliliters of piss are in your balls. It should just show a transparent... It should just show transparent cyber balls and have it, like, drain out. That's what it should do. I really don't understand what happened. Because there's the, that explosive barrel right there. Fuck you! God! Are you leading me like that? I... That shit will kill you. Brah! The X-ray cam, like Sniper Elite? Yes, I agree. Like, while they're attached, it should zoom in X-ray cam, like, an, like a like a Mortal Kombat X-ray move, and show the piss coming out. <laughs> Any opinions on Stadia? It's... It's it's a platform that, like... It only exists because a company wanted to own a market they didn't own yet. I feel like... It's like... They got- they have the tech. Somebody was like, this is good tech, it works. But nowhere along the way did they figure out how it's a good value proposition to anybody. And I think they're- 
I think Google has the funds to bankroll it until it gets to the point where it can be a little more ubiquitous, but I think there's going to be a long time where everybody points and laughs at it, but I do think eventually it will probably become a service that will get used. By who? I don't know. Um, I feel like it's... I get similar vibes like with Apple's gaming service. I do think that they're... and I feel like Nintendo figured this out with the Wii a long time ago that... You can get everyone to buy games, but you can't get everyone to play core games. That's just not something everyone's interested in. It's just not. And I don't think that there's a conversion path for that. I don't think it's a question of... of tech, or a question of, uh... accessibility, or, or like, reducing friction. I don't think it's any of that. I think some people just don't want it. Don't want that kind of experience. So... Like, with, with Apple trying to push, like, I guess, more, like, real games or whatever paying publishers to make a big dick games for iPhone? I don't know. Seems like people are pretty happy with Match 3. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, little man? Not today. That's an explosive barrel. Ho! Oh, I should not have jumped. That's how we get gil- that we get got. That's how we get got in Doomland. Woof. Can we play Grid on Stadia? Yeah? You're not gonna play it on a- you don't have a console? C-Strat? Yeah, Locke, it's- that jump was a bold decision. Yeah, I was- I was trying to be a little styling on it. That was not smart. Whoop, that was weird. A little Doomboy arms floating everywhere. New- <coughs> New Devolver published game Witch Eye is really fun. Throw my money at anything Devolver. Yeah, I think like of all the like Annapurna has has really good taste, I think. But Devolver certainly has a great eye for what they publish. There are so many publishers that try to get into that market too. There's this weird belief that there's just like a ton of very good middle mid-range uh, indie games just waiting for a publisher and that Ow! What a shot! Man, I'm surprised I was able to soak that, but holy crap, man! How rare is completing this mode? That's a good question. I don't know. Where are you? I hear some- I hear it. Battle music. Okay. You get to run experience Gree. It's a light playthrough, but really worth the experience. I started it, but no, I'm sorry, I did not finish it. Did not inhale Gree. Doom guys are praising them for resale. Keeps up. Doom guy keeps all of his Funko Pops in mint condition. Man, those little stings when you do a glory kill are so so good. All hail, all hail our Lord and Savior Mick Gordon. He has fueled many of my workouts, and I'm very thankful to Tim for that. Funko, they are the worst. <laughs> I'm brave, I said it. Uh, I've never seen the appeal. Especially the, like... I don't know, I... This is a little old man yells at Cloud, but I always find something just a little bit distasteful about... Just utterly... Meaningless... And infinitely extendable collectionism. Like, they don't even... it's not even like they're trying. And and maybe I'm being a little too disrespectful of the fine artists at Funko, but... Sure does feel like, man, they just... They sign the, the rights and they crank that shit out. Fuck! 
Fuck, fuck, Call Mantle, please! First one was my fault, I'll take that, but... Gosh. Okay. We're safe! Heard explosions, though, I don't like that. Devoid of artistic intent? Yeah, yeah, you know what, Deegan? You said it perfectly. That there, There's nothing... Nothing about looking at any Funko Pop makes me feel like I either am, like... Gaining new appreciation by proxy for someone who likes this thing that I do. It's just it's just a thing. It's just a little totem of of dedication to a another piece of media that has no no real value. I don't know. It's been three days. If anyone in chat is an avid Funko collector, I apologize. Hydro Ring and Jin Pal, thank you for the prime subs. Oh gosh, I got a lot to catch up. I'm so sorry, guys. This is twenty-two letters. Thank you for the Resub, Jerry, thank you. Sorry, hey, how you doing? Uh, bon Iverson, thank you for the resub. Got a job writing about games. Wanted to say, thank you for something you said in your stream four years ago. No one survives doing games and games media without working their asses off. Wow, well, I'm glad you remember that. Um, it's true. It is true. There are some people, actually, who do get a pass, but they flare out. Like, it's interesting. You don't work for it, and you don't learn all the lessons. Hey, what's up, Grace? Drinking wine in your new apartment? Hell yeah! There are- some of my fondest memories are moving into a new place and just like... Yeah. Just drinking like vodka sitting in the middle of the floor. Hold on, it's Vega time. Hello, I am Vega, the sentient intelligence assigned to Mars. After running diagnostics on the Praetor suit, it appears that I can activate optional challenges that, when completed, will assist in upgrading your arsenal at an accelerated pace. I have added a tracking component to your dossier. Back to the pasture, thanks for the reset. Thanks for getting me that much closer to my GT or RTX 2080. Or GTX 2080. Yeah, RTX on, maybe. Offline. All entrances non operational. Is Achilles in Death Stranding? Yeah, he's like... He's one of the little hologram mans. I mean, is that shocking? Really? Is that really that surprising? Easy always was joking about it months ago. Yeah. They called it, I guess. You got that- you got that fucking performance capture studio, you gotta use it! Bring all your friends in! Fucking do it! Did Jeff give you a Dorito seat? I wish. I am not Jeff Keighley status. Hello, Polony boy. I gotta be honest, at a glance I thought it was Pony boy. Which means you're either a brony or a big fan of the outsiders. Or both. Play Metro 2033, yes. I sadly have not finished Metro Exodus, and I really, really like that game. It didn't sound like Jeff was voicing himself, but maybe, maybe, I don't know. Maybe he's that good of a voice actor. I believe in honesty, especially now. In what will be your final moments in this world? All the moments, the human sacrifices, the hell, the demons. It's, it's all true. Hell portals, sacrifices, demons. 100% right. Crumpy, thank you for the cheer. Um, but yeah, uh, how excited am I for Doom Eternal? I'm so excited that I needed to play this game even more. So, that's kind of why I'm playing this. I got so fucking amped up for Eternal that I was like, I just gotta play more Doom. And the only thing I haven't done in this game, in the campaign at least, is beat it on Ultra Nightmare. So here I am. Definitely about to do that. Right now. For us. My friends call me Pony Boy. Oh. Wendy's employee insisted on calling me Pony Boy one time, so it's been an inside joke since then. Are you serious? Whoop! I gotta admit, I gotta admit, that is a wholesome story. 
What do you think of the Stadia Connect today? I had I didn't see the video. My understanding is they they announced a bunch of other games that'll be coming to Stadia, like um, Cyberpunk. So I I guess I have to like anything about Cyberpunk, so that's cool. I don't know. Still like no no exclusives, so there's still not a compelling reason to use it. Getting my first gaming PC here. Any recommendations on PC-only games? Uh, depends what you like. Terracell, what kind of games do you like? But that's tough because honestly the greatest virtue of PC is that no matter what you like, there's good versions of it. And all pretty cheap. So... I gotta customize my, my recommendations. Because I am a video game sommelier. I'm not just gonna throw any old wine at you. Yeah, Minecraft? I, yeah, I hard to argue with that. Minecraft is a pretty fucking timeless and profound game. Plorp. You know, all the boys are playing Minecraft tonight, right? Man, they were like... I had lunch with them and they were telling me about their Minecraft adventures. It sounded so great. It is wild, the, the fucking hijinks you can get up to in that game. Shit. Fuck. Mm. Good. I really didn't like that exploding man. I really don't like these explosive barrels either. I don't like you. He doesn't like you either. Fuck! Now I gotta get over there. I think it's just a bunch of possessed that are up here. You have to wait for them to flop on down. There it is. There you are. And there's this fucking guy. He's he flopping. Does new Death Stranding info spoil the game? Um, the the clip with Dead Man uh, actually like spells out some of the lore of the game. I think, basically, what BBs are and, and how they work. Um, it's pretty fucking metal. But if you want to go into the game 100% blind, I mean, I guess yeah. There's there's some story shit going on. But the other things are like it also kind of explains. Um, there's a new character. Is, is Mama new? Lockdown. Sorry, if, if you didn't want to know any of this, I guess I'm, I'm spoiling it too, but... It seems to be coming together okay. It... I don't think people really understand how much of a fucking anime dork Kojima is. Because his, like, his worlds are pretty anime. Um... So... That much is becoming very clear to me. It is, it is like... It really does remind me, actually, of a lot of a lot of recent anime, a lot of like post post apocalyptic, but with a weird quirk kind of anime shits, um, like uh, Attack on Titan and what have you. It really does feel like that, like Last Bastion of Man. Oh, we did it to ourselves, kind of stuff. So that's how you get up there. That's one way to get up there. Uh, I had to... I accidentally saw that in a video looking up the secrets because I wanted to make sure I wouldn't miss any of them. God damn it. Heard you. Fuck. What the hell?! There's like three imps?! Why is that happening? You know, Kojima, Kojima seems like he's a, he's a flat kind of guy. If I'm, if I'm not lying, if I'm not lying. That's just the read I get. Doesn't mean it's right, it's just the read I get. Into Kojima, adding in too much. 
Adding too much into the game, diluting the product, when it ends up being boring, and I'm a little worried that end up might find end up being true. Mm, yeah. It does seem like a game where there might be a lot of downtime. A lot of, like, crossing terrain. Which, Zelda had a lot of that, and, and didn't really feel like downtime. It's like, the act of crossing the terrain was always a, uh... Was always a, a gameplay experience, so I could see something similar happening with Death Stranding. Oh, good night, Austin. So yes, Hoots. I mean, Quiet's boobs were definitely all over all, all over five, but um, and they were they were ample. I wouldn't say that they were anime big, but they were they were certainly present and ha had a life of their own for sure. But I I guess I think back to all the the anime ladies of Kojima games, and they never really got like. Like, crazy, bonkers huge. I don't know why I'm analyzing it this hard. Also, I forgot to buy an upgrade that I should have bought a long time ago. I guess I just really need it for this. Why does the dot only appear on the mouse when I'm moving it? That's interesting. Is that like a bug? Oh. Yeah, those boobs were not quiet at all. Yeah, I can't piss in Zelda, that's true. But Zelda does have good boys. Zelda has dogs, so I don't know how. I don't know what the uh, what the what's the algebra on that one. How does that work out? Also, Death Stranding, no big anime tits yet. And Mama even like. Well, I guess I guess there's concern about spoilers, but there there is something breast related with her, but. In Kojima fashion, it's not sexual. It reminds me of, like, um, some of the stuff he would talk about with the boss. Like, the boss was supposed to be maternal, and I think a lot of that still reads, but... One of the things he talked about was, like, she was supposed to have a low-zippered suit with, like, a... Uh, tattoo of a snake on her breast, so that when she fired a gun, the snake would, like, rattle. <laughs> and then he was also like, no, it wasn't just to show off her titties, like, she was a mother figure to Snake. Um... Which is why Snake is so weird about her. Um, Cause I guess, yeah, no, he was a test tube baby, but I guess he didn't really have proper parents. He was a child soldier, I think? But yeah, Quiet got a little backlash. I remember that. Okay, so if I recall, I hide under these stairs. Okay, I gotta concentrate, sorry. Can't be thinking about anime titties right now. As, as sad and depressing as that is. There is a time where where one must clear the mind. Fuck. Saw you. Whoa! What the fuck? How? Did it warp in behind me? With there's so many. What the fuck? They can shoot through? Fuck! Gotta go! Gotta go! Okay, I think I'm almost... almost done? Fuck. Okay, good. That's how to do it. Huh. That got a little... little out of the plan, but... Okay. That's kind of the last really tense encounter. The one outside's not so bad since you have finally have some different gun. Different gun, excuse me. <coughs> if the game ever basically screamed Lawrence, it's due, and we all aspire to be this much of a gamer. Uh, yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad that I can be your beacon. Glad that I can show you what pure gaming is. And live it every day. Thank you for uh, allowing me that. But, um, 
Yeah, there's so many other games I want to play. But I was hyped to play Metal Gear Solid 4 on stream because I never owned any of the PlayStations. Oh shit, well, I thought about starting it tonight. I don't know if I will, but I, I might. Still kind of up in the air. I got I got a real hankering to play that game again, man. So much of uh, so much of Death Stranding is reminding me of it. It's like I guess after Metal Gear Solid 3, it's just Kojima Unchained is a really special thing. Kojima off the leash. Hello, wonderful Mr. Noob. How are you? <laughs> Get back down in my hole. Who said you could come out? All right. If I recall, I can go through here, turn on the power, Welcome to the get this gun, I'm gonna play WoW Classic? Ah, uh, I don't think I am, actually. I, I played a lot of WoW when it was WoW Classic. I don't feel like I need to go back. Plus I have Final Fantasy XIV. I figured that game, to me, is like superior to WoW Classic in basically every way. So I've got no need. Like, that just doesn't hold any appeal for me. Mr. Yura? Oh, I did. Mr. Baker Boy, thank you. Kotaku has been a long and in-depth retrospective series of articles, and they're infinitely interesting. Oh, I'll have to check it out. I'll have to check it out. Yes, Constable Mittens, I agree. Final Fantasy XIV is a wonderful game. It's very much for me. Um, you want to talk about how Doom is a Lawrence game. That very much is, too. Right. Let's see. Let me play a good song here. I got it all queued up. There we go. All right. Uh, Baker Boy, 2013. Thank you for the year's worth of subs. I will be your stream daddy. If you will be my stream viewer, please enjoy your track. Okay. Metal Gear Solid 2 retrospective. I'm down. I man, Metal Gear Solid 2 is a great, great game. So that was one of those where like people didn't quite know what to make of it when it came out. No more Doom? No, I'm back at it. Had to play a little track for somebody for giving me a whole lot of money. So. Wanna rest for they're so good? Yeah? Okay, cool. Glad to hear it. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. I support I support it. Access granted. That's right, access granted. Give me all this. Give me all this. Oh! That shit. That shit. Had to die. Thank you for two months of Prime, which means you get a song too. Can't add friends on the trial? Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I never really played the trial. I played 1.0 for like a couple months and I was like, good god. And then, with Realm Reborn, uh, ever since it launched, never dropped a month. I take that back, actually. I think there were a couple months where I was like, ah, I'm just not playing right now. I should stop spending the money. I do remember that, but I've uh, been playing it pretty pretty steadily ever since. So, wasn't wasn't there when they added the trial. I mean, I guess it was, but I didn't use it. You know what I mean. Uh, I got another track though. Thanks for coming back, Datchet. Appreciate it. Uh, thanks for joining the community. Please enjoy this track. Kits and Giggles. Try to play Seven Classic uh, twice now. Yeah. By modern sensibilities, I don't expect that game to like. I actually don't think it's aged well. Um, so I'm really interested to see what they do with the remake. I think that's an interesting, like a, a more fundamental remake is absolutely the right call. Tate tries. Welcome back. Thank you for subbing. Fifteen months is a very long time. Appreciate it. 
15 months from now, I'll probably have beaten Doom. Yank this. So long and I'm an adult now with the job and stuff? Oh, okay, I hear I hear ya. Thought you were more talking about the uh your experience in the game. That certainly makes sense. Gosh, that does so much damage. Does armor take like double health damage or is armor just more health? I guess I really don't know how that mechanic works in this game. Style is a big thing that makes the game age well. Look at Wind Waker, for example. Good point. I think that... I think that 7 has style. It's just, like, style of its time. It was very, like, 90s cyberpunk anime. Which is cool. Don't get me wrong. But I just think, like, 7 is indicative of a certain style of product rather than having its own style, if that makes sense. Wind Waker definitely has its own style. But 7 is just sort of like a mishmash of a bunch of 90s cyberpunk themes, basically for the first disc. And then, like, once you once you get out of there, then it just becomes, like, really sort of Nomura-esque psychological bullshit, which is also very 90s anime, but it drops the cyberpunk flavor pretty quickly. If you haven't beaten Ultra Nightmare by my two-year, I'm subbing to Ninja on Mixer instead. That's fair. Are you playing that really hard mode? Yes, Dante. Uh, last stream was able to watch you at that QuakeCon thingy. Yeah, that's that's the fever persists. I'm definitely still playing that that terrible terrible mode. Yeah, there's only one shield, man. I feel like the scope is really really useful for these fights coming up. Maybe I should revisit my strats. I don't know. Oh yeah, that's right. I can. Sam is great. Persona 5 is a game I feel 10 years will still be remembered for its look. When I used to play Last of Us, the age of the graphics really showed during the gameplay. That's interesting. I have never felt the urge to replay The Last of Us. I would be curious, um, yeah, I'd be curious how I feel about its visuals, because I remember them being incredible at the time. Uh, that's it, yeah. No save, super hard, that's correct. So basically, you can save when you complete a level, and that's it. If you quit in the middle of a level, it, it, you have to start over. If you die, you have to start over. But you can at least walk away from it between levels. So I think if I somehow beat level 3, I'll, I'll walk away from it there. Calling a game like Red Dead 2 will hold up? That's a good question. Certain open world games, if they're done properly... It's weird because certain open world games can seem like they're trying to be photo... Wah, photo real but still have style. I think, like, GTA V is one of those. I feel like Red Dead is, too. Don't hold me to this, but I, I kind of get the sense that Red Dead will probably age pretty well. Good God! Ugh! The bullets are, like, spreading strangely. That's right, it's the bullet's fault. Gonna dark side fill that shit up in here. I go for the health. And then get the berserk. Mantle, please! Okay. He's a stop getting stuck on rocks. Damn. 
gonna be surrounded. I don't like this. Fuck! Explosive barrel. Okay. Damn it. Fuck no! Ugh! Fuck you. Okay. Is that it? That's it. Okay. I can go around and pick up all the power-ups and stuff. That was a little sloppy, but that's, I mean, within tolerances, I'd say. Taking that one big, one big fireball blast was, was rough. Never go, yeah, no, the soundtrack is, is perfect. Some games want the music in the background, but Doom fucks you in the face with it and it's great. Well, what's, what's incredible is that the music fucks you in the face, but all the other important sound effects are still audible. There's so much to, like, great video game audio that's functional as well as stylistic and the fact that you can hear all the imps you can hear all the attacks like you get all the information you need in addition to just getting just punched in the stomach with an incredible like double kick drum and with that like 12 string guitar that just sounds extra meaty Ugh, it's so good oh and shit shit get shit popping off at the international von iverson Time for secrets. 48 string guitar. Wait, are you serious? Oh, infinite string, yeah. The Eternal and Doom Eternal refers to the amount of strings on Mick Gordon's guitar. It actually goes into another dimension. He, his gu guitar creates a Mobius strip of reality. Bones it out. Bang. God, I love that so much. I'll never not love that. Maybe I will. Maybe once I play this game eight million times, I'll get sick of it. But for now, it's pure and it's great, and I will never, I will never ever not like it. Give me looking forward to the most. It's coming out this quarter. Control and Doom Eternal are some big ones for me right now. Uh, Doom Eternal, I think, is probably my number one this fall. What improvements do you think Blizzard should make with the Overwatch sequel? That's... that's tough. To the I don't know how you make a better game. Come to the Vega Terminal, and I'll give you what you need. I don't know, I... I feel... I, I guess I thought Overwatch was like games of service junk, so it was just gonna go forever. Maybe? Maybe, like, they'll just get another stab at retail? If they, uh... If they release it again? Another cast of characters, but I guess a campaign would be cool? I don't know if- I guess- I kind of over the point where I care about Overwatch lore, I think. That's weird, it kind of like- There wasn't enough of it fast enough, and I just kind of don't care anymore. I mean lore, specifically. And- and to be fair, I didn't really seek it out either. Just so I'm being honest. It's not like I was there reading all the comics or anything, it's just- I expected the game to sort of deliver me lore in an even pace through like vocal lines, kind of like Left 4 Dead did. And- Just kind of stopped learning stuff. Which made me stop kind of caring about it, I guess. So I don't know that a, a campaign set in the Overwatch universe would really light me on fire. I don't know. There's a shield man in here, I'm pretty sure. There we go. Cool, cool. Laura's too disjointed to actually work. I kind of got that sense too. James and the other finest guys play your watch still. I know Adam does. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, the Titanfall 2 campaign is great. I was just thinking about that. In terms of, like, games where I feel like I don't care about the lore, but I still really enjoy the campaign. Open crates of ammo. Feels good, man. Hello, Del- wait, D-leveled? I'm doing great. Playing video games. Got a- got a decent run of Doom going. That feels good. Is there another shield man in here? Fuck. 
Yeah, there he is. Mini Frost? Thank you for the prime up! Oof. Sorry. No shield guys get in on you. It's scary, because they have shotguns. It's like the worst combo. I think I get the switch with a better battery life. No, actually. Because battery life is not something that affects my current enjoyment of the Switch. I, I carry a battery pack around with it. Maybe if I, if I bought the new one I wouldn't have to, but that seems like a lot of money to spend to just avoid carrying around a little battery pack, you know? So, I don't think I need it. If my Switch breaks or something, then absolutely. But, Switch seems to be a pretty well-made console. It's, I definitely, it's, it's mine, mine's wearing a little raw in a couple of spots, uh, oops. The, um, the Joy-Cons are getting a little finicky, uh, the contacts I don't think are the best right now. Um, I scratched the screen, uh, modding the case, so that was stupid. Um, I should have done it on a towel, I just put it on the table, because I was like, there's nothing on the table, there was something on the table. So I have some annoying scratches on the screen, it's not that bad. Um, and then also the, uh, like the, there's a metal grate over the heat sink for the fan intake. And that has broken off. Um, it's kind of on there with some some like thinner connectors, so I kind of get why that might break, but it did. Oh, you got the Joy-Con drift? Oh no, Dante, I'm sorry to hear that. I've been lucky enough to never deal with it. But from the sounds of it, Nintendo's trying to like put the repairs out there, so hopefully you won't have to deal with it for too long. Hopefully walking away from your Switch for a bit is not so distasteful. It's a gift. Yeah, Wally. The Doom movie is not all bad. It reminds me a lot of the Mortal Kombat movie. Not quite as fun, but it's dumb. The power surge. I'm gonna cover Gamescom announcements on Inside Gaming. Only watch a recap of the Stadia panel. Um, I need to look at the headlines. Uh, I'm not sure. I think the big one is is Insomniac getting acquired, which is weird because they seem to be adamantly independent for so long. But I guess. After Spider-Man, there's just they made him an offer they couldn't refuse, I guess. That Mortal Kombat movies both underrated and under or overrated and underrated. That's that's the most true take I think I've ever heard. I agree with you. I will unlock the remaining Argent cells within the facility for you. Vega, give him what he wants. I'm praying Insomniac doesn't just become the Spider-Man dev. Mm. They bound to be. They're bound to be working on another one, right? But maybe they'll be like Naughty Dog, where they have multiple dev units and they trade something. Oh, you bought the Splatoon ones. Those colors are really nice. Girlfriend, sister did a super scummy thing, bought a new Joy-Con controller, and returned her broken ones in the new box. Ooh, man. Yeah, that sucks. I feel I should apologize for what's happened here. Some of my employees took things too far. Olivia was the cause of all this. Sunset Overdrive 2 would be nice. You will have to deal with her in time. They sequel baited? You may I don't even remember the end of Spider-Man. That story was not good. Am I, am I alone in that? Like, thinking that story was actually not good at all? Best interest. It was the most tropey, stereotypical Spider-Man thing in the world, and it didn't even really make all that much sense. But none of that matters now. It was like a really bad story told well. The regulators have been destroyed, and the core temperatures are now destabilizing. Was good? Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. Yeah, they gave away logic for fan service. It was very fan servicey. Neither of us will survive the meltdown. But I'm a shill, so who knows? <laughs> it's okay to like things. I don't mean that. I enjoyed it. I just don't remember it or really remember caring about it. And like it hit all the beats, but none of them were like connected in any kind of like understandable way. It's like even even like his suit got damaged at the end. I'm like, this is such a thing. This is every every in a way. I guess I I should have appreciated how. Spider-Man-ish it was, because it was every Spider-Man story, all smashed into one. Yeah, the Mary Jane sections were pretty sick. Really sick, nasty. Loved those. That was fun. Are you playing on Ultra Nightmare? Not easy. Make it look easy, babe. Make it look good. 
Make it look, make it look like ice cream. It was the 90s cartoon in a game? Very much that, yes. Yeah, super well said. So I guess, people like the 90s cartoon. I liked the 90s cartoon, I don't know, I don't know if I'd like it now, but... I demand that you play it again? It's not, eh. Can you replay the story? Hold on, Vega time. On the active Raider suit, it appears that I can accelerate the upgrading of your arsenal by measuring your combat effectiveness. I have added a tracker to your helmet's display. The facility will not allow you access to the turbine bit. room unless the demonic threat level is brought down inside the foundry. Our security systems cannot be overridden. Yeah, it's the clippy section. I see you're trying to slaughter demons in hell. Would you like some help with that? You want to learn how to save your word docs in hell. Sorry, I'm trying to get these guys to cl clutter up. There's a... As long as they don't hit me. And they will hit you. Okay. So, like... Go three with one explosive barrel. Alright, how is... I guess he got hit by another possessed. There we go. Smite of Men, The Nightmare Before Christmas is my favorite story. The one with Moon Knight. So... Is there a collection of all the Moon Knight memes of him trying to find Dracula to get his money back? Because that is the best. People have been sending that stuff to me and I love it. <laughs> They're all trying to clear popcorn holes out of their throats. Where's my goddamn money? <laughs> That's so good. Dracula's not in the Avengers. I'm not even like, I don't even know anything about Moon Knight. Like, I don't even know if these memes are meaningful in some dumb way. Aish. Coming for you. Zip! Where are we going? That's it? Okay. Moon Knight is only really cool when one specific writer writes them, otherwise you know it's comics. Oh, get out of the way. Like when Luke Cage beat the shit out of Doctor Doom for 200 bucks. Oh, he's possessed by an ancient moon god? He for sure has some type of multiple personalities though. Well, that's cool. That's good for... That's good for Moon. Our buddy Moon Knight. I just like how he's like... Both palette-wise, he's like palette-wise the absolute, the complete opposite of a uh, of Batman. Fuck! Where were you? There we go. Got this music. Actually, wait. I think I can... I think I can buy this now. Environment damage. What killed me last time? I just took too much damage last time. That implies I should save up for DPS items. Oh, if the aliens were too... Or if the enemies were 2D sprites in these zones? I kind of like how it is, but I see what you mean. I think I'm pretty much maxed out on everything. Uh, yeah, I got pretty much everything, so I should just leave. Except now I don't. I had full armor, man! What's wrong with me? No reason to do that that close. Well, 
Gotta not do that shit. Like, every time I do something like that, that's one less hit I can take, which is just one hit, like, one step closer to dying. Thank you, Clutch Crew. I try to be my cutest every day. Also, E Compton, thank you for the cheer, Mini Frost, and Geox Burrs. Uh, thank you guys for the Prime subs. Super biased since I work in a comic store, but Moon Knight is rad and a fun time to read. Iron Man was always a hard sell comic wise for me, hard to get RG, RDJ Charisma and text. Yeah, absolutely. I can see that. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Never thought about that, but I could see why that would be an issue. Isn't there a Hell Knight here? Oh, I should go get the mod, so I can stun. That is what I should do. And then get to clearing this level. Commence to jiggling. Doom Hunter reveal trailer? I didn't... So I think I saw that at QuakeCon, but I need to check it out. Is it the, like, floating minotaur that has two chainsaw hands? <laughs> How's your Monday night going? Currently I'm a second night without tobacco. Well, congratulations, Six Path. You don't get to 100 nights without getting to your second, so you should be proud. Uh, but my night's going pretty well. Steph's working a little late, so I'm just chilling out playing Doom again. Got a good run going, though. It ain't Doom unless the demons are fighting each other sometime. <laughs> Your ass got sacked. But if Doom is a party game? What do you call what we're doing right now? We're having a party, ain't we? Oh. Jesus Christ. How dare you? Gonna do more time commando? Um, that's a good question. I haven't really put it on the list. I don't, I don't know if like, that's in a rough spot where like I could play that game for an hour and maybe not ever beat that section, and I don't want that to happen. Um, so maybe I could practice it. I guess get really good at it. Whoops! Oof, I was a little off. That's the one. Oh no, there's a secret here. That's right. I guess that that Praetor token is not a. Not a secret. Hey, Chris. Oh my gosh. In here with the Doom puns. And a ridiculous sub. Thank you. The video is really funny. I'm glad you liked it. You heard of Ion Fury? Yes, I played it. Uh, a little bit. And I, I really enjoy it. What I've played so far, I enjoy a lot. So, I'm looking forward to playing it more. Very excited to do that. Access granted. Guys, we're spoiled. We're spoiled with good video games. So many of them. Oh, that's right. There's a Fuki Gore Nest. Is this 15? Yeah, I didn't really waste that much. Okay, this is... I remember there being Hell Razors in here. Kind of respawn over here. Ah! God damn it. I guess in that situation I need to change guns. I think is what probably needs to happen. Ooh, that was that was reduced by 25%. Less than ideal, but that's why we go into those fights with 
with as much health and armor as we can. Yeah, not alive. I just yeah, I just said I've played Iron Fury. Ion Fury, excuse me. I got it on Steam's. Hmm. Yeah, I can't really afford anything. So, any specific reason for playing Doom? It's fun. That's it. It's fun, and I'm kind of captivated by trying this this dumb challenge. That's probably a waste of time, but I'm I'm enjoying it. So, so it's cool. Wait, I mm, can't remember leaving any power-ups behind or anything like that. Hopefully I can pick up some armor and health and stuff. Okay, so one Gornes down. Don't have any keys. If you enjoy spending the time, it's never really wasted. I agree. I feel like I'm learning about the game too, which is a fun process. Gives me even more to appreciate about it. That was kind of cool. there. Scary. If only Doom Eternal had snap map. You're playing EDF later tonight. I don't know. Nobody's brought it up, so I don't think so. Everyone's... Seems like everybody's hunkered down with Minecraft at the moment. Okay, this is where... Yeah, this is where this gentleman pops out. No? I have to do something back here first? Oh. We have to do the... Oh, there we go. Right. Opinion a new Fire Emblem? Since the game we're going to do a review on it. Are you guys stick to more obscure games? No, we definitely want to do the big ones. It's just that came out at a weird time. We didn't get review access to it. So, we just didn't really have the bandwidth to try and produce it at the time. Ugh. Man, it really is all shotgun. When it comes to dealing with those guys. Hmm. Is this your first playthrough? No. Um, that's, I guess, technically my th third or fourth, but I'm playing, trying to play through it on the hardest difficulty. Hardest difficulty available. Let's see armor. Oh, that's right, all the... I don't remember there being anything really of value in there. <laughs> Maybe some random armor and health pickups. I guess it's worth looking around for that. It's like armor shreds over there. I don't want to even touch the lava to deal with that. Even get near it. Yep, yeah, instant death still happens. Oh, that's right, the rocket launcher's in here. I guess I can, there's some glory kills I can get. Help me top up my health. That'd be useful. we go. That, that worked out pretty well. <sighs> I think I have enough to buy another upgrade. 
Unless, no, I think the next one... No, oh, here we go. Okay. Okay, mm. try that. I thought it was in here, no? Wait. There's like a... A cheeky jump you gotta make... Somewhere? Is that... Oh, there it is. I think. No? This right here, okay. Oh, wait, is that it? Yes, okay, there we go. So, oddly, not a secret. Seems like it should be. This gun terrifies me because I might die. <laughs> um, is this the one where you can decrease weapon self damage? Yeah, okay. Gonna not use that for now. Um, I'm just scared that, like, if I ever have it whipped out, that an enemy will just jump in front of me and stare at me and, like, dare me to pull the trigger. And then I'll hesitate and then I'll get hit from someone else. It's like if you're not running around doing max DPS, enemies catch up to you and start smacking you, and then it's, it's really not that long until you die. That was a very doom sounding door. Shit! God damn it. I didn't want to take hit already. Fuck you! Back up! Stamina. That you have to you have to jump over lava to get to this no matter what. It hurts. Uh, okay. Reduced by 50%. I don't think I want to go there. No, I don't. I absolutely don't. Never mind. I'll go back in. Go back inside. Where there's less lava. <sighs> I don't remember. This place is always a little, little windy. Wait. Oh, yeah, no, I'm back up here. Okay. Stairs or something over here? Oh, there's shotgun shells. And two things of armor. Oh, hey, Steph! Ooh, I got shirts! Hold on, I'm gonna say hi to Steph real quick. I'll be right back. Score, nervously fidgeting along the way. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, That is time. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. The final round of the 1990 Nintendo World Championships. Woo! The field narrows from thousands of the hottest Nintendo players in the United States. Down to just 21. Not for the big prizes, not for the money. We're doing it for fun. 
doing it for Mario. tell you the power team rules how'd you like my boy quirk not bad for a vegetable okay it's time to get the video power edge our first tip is from game players magazine for ninja gaiden 2 for nes in stage 5 2 go for the one up behind the lower globe but watch how Ryu glides from one edge to another. Alright, I'm back. Hellos were said. Greetings were extended. But there are still demons that are yet unshot. And this is a sin that I will not allow to continue. Ah, uh, let's see. I don't think I have the blue key. Nope. Okay, so I'll go to Yellow Door now. Which... I believe, uh, pretty sure a knight pops up here. All mad. Yep, yeah, there he is. Angry Hell Knight. Take a seat. Yeah, he's super dead. I was like, there's no way he's still alive. Explosive barrels do a fuck load of damage. Stay committed. You got it. Stay armored. Oh yeah, this this room. Oops. A rare hallway. Fuck you! Oh my god! The sec- the second enemies warped in, I should have assumed that there were some behind me. I should have. That was my fault. Mmm, that was my fault. That hurts. Okay, um, that's how it goes. Uh, I'm gonna play something else. I'm gonna play something else. Time for red? No, I'm playing controller. Good God, no. Mouse and keyboard. Um, dang, that's frustrating. It sucks because that's about when you start getting momentum, I feel like. It's just so slow before that. Anyway, I think I'm gonna play something else. Okay, see you guys in a minute. ...as possible. Then attack. Next up, Revenge of Shinobi for Genesis. Here's the way.